Why Narcissists Fixate Their Anger on You, The Alarming Truth Unveiled Hello everyone. The profound impact of narcissistic rage on deciphering an individual's character is widely acknowledged. It speaks volumes about the toxicity embedded within a person, evident through the name-calling, profanity, uproar, quarrels, and verbal confrontations. This demeanor unequivocally exposes their immaturity and inherent instability. However, there exists an aspect seldom discussed, the reflection of oneself within the context of narcissistic rage. Yes, the raging behavior exhibited by others might hold revelations about you that diverge from common perception. So, what exactly does narcissistic rage divulge about your character? What insights can be gleaned from traversing a toxic relationship characterized by incessant yelling, foul language, screaming, and relentless insults? Let's delve into the realm of insults emerging from such a toxic environment. A sense of inferiority often pervades one's psyche, as every facet of one's being has likely been disparaged. Before we dive in, don't forget to engage with this content. Give it a thumbs up if you find it insightful, subscribe to our channel for more discussions, share it with others who might benefit, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's explore why narcissists direct their wrath at you and the deeper insights it may reveal about your character. Stay tuned. Narcissists love putting down everything about you, from your clothes and music taste to your choice of phone. If you're into iPhones, get ready for them to mock it just because it's your preference, not because there's anything wrong with it. Feeling inferior in these situations is normal, but it's important to realize it's far from the truth. Narcissists attack and criticize you because you refuse to accept being inferior, that's a fact. Your existence, lifestyle choices, and genuine appreciation for what makes up your life, chosen by your inner preferences, really irk them. Your passion for music, the joy you get from good food, or your loyalty to a specific phone model all show confidence in your choices. Narcissists hate this because it means you don't give them the top spot in your life. Their constant criticism is just a desperate attempt to make the things they like seem superior when you're around. Truth is, narcissists rarely have real preferences. They change like chameleons, adapting to trends without any real connection to what they claim to like. You, on the other hand, find substance in your choices, sticking with what works for you. This steadfastness bugs them because you won't conform to their expectations. They dislike your refusal to bow down, so they criticize you not because you lack superiority, but because you reject inferiority and their conformist views. Now let's talk about how narcissists use intimidation and threats. They're good at acting tough, projecting aggression and hostility. It might seem strange because they act intimidating, but when you decide to walk away, it's important to know that it doesn't mean you're weak. Actually, narcissists don't target you because you're weak. They see your strength as a threat. Narcissists live in a mental space where they feel oppressed all the time, playing the victim. Your independence and autonomy put them in an uncomfortable position because they can't mimic it. They see your self-sufficiency as a form of oppression because they can't achieve it themselves. Your ability to validate yourself without needing their approval vexes them, and they realize they're unnecessary. When you stand your ground and show confidence, it just makes them angrier, leading to pointless fights and threats. You might wonder why you feel insulted or targeted, but reflecting on these experiences can give you some interesting insights. When you refuse to feel inferior, you unintentionally tick off those who love being in control. Your strength and independence attract attacks, especially from people with narcissistic tendencies. It's your independence that bothers them. What they don't like about you boils down to your ability to make your own choices, find inner contentment, and experience real joy. These are things narcissists rarely feel. Instead of finding joy in genuine connections, they seek it in the admiration of their circle, a group mostly made up of fans and idolizers. Their constant need for validation keeps them going, like an endless fuel source they can't do without. On the other hand, your fulfillment often comes from a deeper place, like spiritual connections that fill you up from within. Your joy is authentic and effortless, confusing narcissists, especially your genuine laughter, which seems to push them away more than anything. They really can't stand your true happiness and self-sustained contentment. Without these qualities, they struggle without the constant approval they crave, 
feeling worthless and resentful toward people like you who don't need constant reassurance. Even if you have moments of vulnerability or fleeting anger, your emotions are nothing compared to the chaos within narcissists. Let their hostility and attacks be proof of your uniqueness and sheer awesomeness. It's important to understand the basic difference between your path and theirs. Narcissists have chosen the shadows, living in a world hidden behind a tough exterior. Some might have the chance to step into the light, but prefer the comfort of darkness. In contrast, you radiate brightness, a guiding light eager to return to its rightful place among other lights. As we conclude, always remember that light and darkness exist in separate realms. Your brilliance shines most vividly when untethered from the shadows. While darkness may observe your light, it is amongst your own kindred lights that your radiance truly converges. The choice is yours. Continue to illuminate the path away from the shadows and embrace the brilliance that defines your essence. As we step into the new year, my earnest desire is to be a source of support on your healing journey. To provide further understanding, I offer personalized guidance through one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. These sessions can take place via phone calls, FaceTime, or WhatsApp video consultations. Additionally, explore the Enriching Royal We Fellowship, a unique Bible study held every Saturday morning. This in-depth exploration delves into the profound teachings of the Bible, shedding light on its relevance in navigating a world tainted by toxicity and rampant narcissism. The links for coaching and access to the fellowship can be found below. If you enjoy what we create and would like to support us, consider contributing as little as $1 on our Ko-Fi page. Every contribution, no matter how small, goes a long way in helping us maintain and improve the quality of our content. As a special thank you for those who decide to join as members, your name will be featured at the start of our videos, showcasing our appreciation for your generous support. Your backing allows us to continue producing the content you love, and we can't thank you enough for being a crucial part of our community. Find the Ko-Fi link in the description below and become a valued member of our journey. Excitingly, more insightful videos are in the works. Your support through likes, subscriptions, and engagement with the content is deeply appreciated. I'll be back soon, ready and eager to continue this journey together.